Well, welcome back, guys. Uh, today, uh, as a, a uh, request, I am taking a look at Manjaro's community repo, the LXQT version. Now, this is the 1509 version, and uh, from what I can see right out of the box, everything looks pretty good. Now, I've made a few changes. I added some of the uh, applications that I normally add just to see if everything would install properly. So I installed uh, Caffeine, I installed Synapse, I installed P-Sensor. Uh, Redshift was already installed, which is unusual, but that's working fine. The system picked up my Ethernet and my uh, wireless networks without an issue. Uh, let's see, I did have problems using Kazam. I installed Kazam. For some reason it will not function properly, so I am using Simple Screen Recorder along with GUVC View. Everything seems to be running fine. Now it does come with this desktop. It's called the Blue Dragon Wallpaper. Um, so this is what you'll see when you boot up. There are, There is the ability to make changes. If you come over and click the uh, LXQT menu and go over to Preferences, uh, then Settings and Appearance, uh, you can change your icons. Now I did add the Fienza icons and the Numix icons. Um, these are the themes that are available right out, right out of the box. Uh, now as you change the themes in the appearance configuration uh, menu, your wallpaper will change. I'll show you what happens. For ambiance, it's got a uh, butterfly wallpaper. For dark, it has, uh, looks like some type of a, a glacier. Frost is also uh, a snow glacier type scene. The plasma, KDE plasma, is the uh, multicolored triangles. And the light theme is a blue, very nice desktop wallpaper. Uh, but if you want to get back to the dragon, uh, close out of this, right click, desktop preferences, browse, and you'll go back to the user share backgrounds folder where you can click on blue dragon and open that up. That is the only unusual one. The other desktop wallpapers that are included in that folder are the Manjaro uh, wallpapers. And so they are the typical Manjaro. Um, in various configurations. Uh, there are a few others. I'll pull up. Let's see. Try that one. And this one is available in multiple colors. And we will go back to the Blue Dragon. Okay, so everything is functioning fine. Um, I am having a little bit of an issue with this icon. This is supposed to be the Firefox icon down in the bottom left. When I started messing with the themes, I lost that icon, but it is for Firefox. And right now it's just a generic gear type uh, icon. Now, there's another uh, appearance, customized look and feel, where you can, I uh, installed the Numix uh, themes. It comes with uh, the ambiance, the Mediterranean light, and the Raleigh. All of the new mix I installed. Uh, colors are pretty much set by the theme. 
the icons. I installed the Numix icons and the Fienza. It came with the Breeze icons. Uh, mouse cursor is the standard fonts and let's see that's about it so all of the other icons down in the in the uh, system tray in the bottom right they seem to be working fine I've got the four desktops caffeine uh, update for the system synapse there is synapse um, P sensor and clipboard network redshift simple screen recorder and this is places now you can see the graphics on some of the um, themes you get a little bit of graphic issues you can see it down here at the bottom uh, in the GUVC view and I think that has to do with one of the settings in the uh, appearance settings they do have two locations one in the LXQT settings and one in the the general preferences so you've got customized look and feel here and then you've got appearance over in LXQT and they sometimes overlap and they sometimes affect each other now if you click on LXQT system settings, you've got appearance, desktop, notifications, file associations, keyboard monitor. Now you can see that the, uh, the appearance settings and the icon settings are affecting some of these icons also because this desktop and file associations, power management, those should have standard uh, icons, but they do not. So. Uh, you can if you download it uh, then you can check that out yourself to see if you can uh, find the, the combination that works properly for you uh, everything seems to work pretty well haven't had any issues with it in the short time that I've been using it this is a hardware install this is not a virtual box now in accessories we have caffeine which I installed um, let's see everything else except for synapse caffeine and synapse I installed everything else came with it out of the box education is just the LibreOffice math uh, games I installed play on Linux and Steam I have not tried either one of them yet uh, graphics everything you see here is out of the box GIMP LibreOffice draw screen grab sumo paint Internet, I haven't uh, added anything. It came with Firefox, HexChat, and Q Transmission. Steam it, uh, ended up in both menus the games menu and the internet menu. LibreOffice, standard programming, sound and video. I installed the GUVC View, OBS, OpenShot, simple screen recorder. Everything else came out of the box. System tools, uh, P sensor I installed. Uh, everything else came with it out of the box. You've got your preferences and then your log off. Now it uses the standard Manjaro package management system. I didn't have any issues installing anything. As I said, I installed Kazam, but for some reason it's not functioning properly. There's some kind of a conflict. Um, and normally it runs fine on this computer with other distributions so it could be something that's unique to LXQT. Uh, now they they claim basically that uh, LXQT is a combination of LXDE and uh, uh, XFCE or there's another one Razor QT but it's a it's a hybrid um, and it it's fine I don't see any issues with it at all everything seems to be working fine uh, I've had no issues with audio or video I've gone on the internet I've brought up uh, YouTube I've played YouTube videos I played music um, I've had no problems at all 
So that is it, guys. That is the uh, Manjaro Linux. It comes out of the Manjaro Stable Repository under Community, and it's the LXQT version. It's been downloaded about 600 times this week. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you're interested in an LXQT distribution, of course, I'm a big proponent of Manjaro, so you won't get any uh, negative feedback from me. I think they, all of the distributions they put together are well done. So, guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe, uh, and I will see you soon. Take care.